the 100th woman has been to space, Emily Calandrelli. So do you actually need tampons? And how many is enough? Well, will gravity change things? In space, the lack of gravity doesn't stop your body from having a period. Menstrual blood flows out of the body just as it does on Earth, and that's thanks to muscle contractions in the uterus. They continue to work regardless of gravity. However, managing your periods in space does require some planning. Astronauts can use tampons or menstrual pads just like on Earth, but they often prefer tampons because they're more compact, they're easier to store in limited space. Some astronauts, though, they opt to skip their periods altogether because they can use hormonal birth control like the contraceptive pill or a hormonal IUD, and they're safe for long duration missions. Interestingly, before the 1980s, NASA scientists even debated if women could actually have periods in space, but of course now we know it's fine and perfectly manageable. So how many tampons do you need? Well, the average person has around five days of bleeding, and most would usually use between three and six tampons a day, depending on how heavy their flow is. So she'd probably need around 30 tampons for a six-day flight. So yes, 100 is probably excessive for one period, but then I guess that anything can go wrong. You could get stuck in space for longer. But that's actually why I would suggest a reusable option like a menstrual cup would be a great thing to bring with you to space because you can just use it over and over again and not worry about running out. So yes, periods do happen in space, but astronauts can choose what works best for them. So how many tampons would you have needed if you went to space?